or they can take that bungalow, divide the lot in half, and build two two-story homes. In today's video, I'm gonna break down what, in my opinion, would be the best real estate investment in Toronto real estate, at least uh, as of the recording of this video. This is Sam from Remax and Sabiri 6 Real Estate. Contact information in the description. Feel free to subscribe, comment, rate, and review if you want to. If you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. Leave a dislike if you dislike this video. Let's get to it. In today's video, I'm gonna discuss, as I said, what I think would be the best investment in real estate. Now, just a couple of disclaimers as always. This is general advice, right? I mean, I'm not you know, that general. When I speak to my clients, uh, especially if they're investors, I have to see what their spe specific needs, uh, requirements, and conditions are. The amount of down payment, the window of time, they can hold on to investment, their aspirations, what kind of investor they are. Are they first time beginner? Are they sitting on an investment or are they uh, trying to collect rental income? A bunch of other factors and those factors come into play. Thus, I assess individuals and investors on a case by case basis. However, this is general advice and it would apply to a lot of people. But one other disclaimer is that this investment requires quite a bit of capital to start with. So it's probably not for everyone. However, it would be good for most people. It's just most people cannot get into it because once again, it does require quite a bit of money to start with. Anyways, those are out of the way. So what is the investment? In my opinion, the best investment in Toronto real estate as of now is a bungalow. That's right, a bungalow. Now let me describe what a bungalow is. And in my description, you can start to get an idea as to why it is a good investment. Bungalows used to be very popular property types that were built far more in the past by builders. Uh, when the population was lower, uh, you know, there were less people, less people in the market, more land, land was less scarce. And basically bungalows, although within the category of bungalows, there's different types of bungalows, Generally speaking, it can be said that a bungalow is a one-story home with a basement that's below ground. So when I say one story, you gotta to start to think, well, isn't that small? Well, no, most bungalows are actually quite big. Um, obviously, there are small ones as well, but most of them are quite big because when they used to build bungalows, the market was less competitive. There were less buyers and sellers in the market. The population was lower. Land was less scarce. There was less development. As a result, when builders built bungalows, instead of building the space vertically as you have your typical two-story home, they built the space uh, horizontally. Meaning, of course, they required more land, a bigger lot to do this. And that's exactly how we're gonna segue and I hope you start to get a clue as to why bungalows are such good investments because bungalows are built on large lots. You could have a two-story home that was built last year that's bigger in terms of square footage than a bungalow, but the lot of the bungalow, even if it's a medium-sized bungalow, will most likely, obviously, once again, generally speaking, be bigger than a larger two-story home in terms of um, square footage. Furthermore, given the fact that there's such large lots, bungalows, the actual structures of them, uh, are usually much older, right? Because as I said, they were far more uh, popular, uh, I mean, far more popular, far more, uh, you know, built in the 60s, 70s, and even 80s. As a result, the structures uh, are older, right? So when you go to purchase a land with a structure on top of it, you do all types of evaluations to see what is the structure worth, how much has it depreciated, what is the land worth, and how much has it depreciated. And typically with bungalows, the lot uh, is worth more than the structure there upon the lot. Thus, you can get a bigger lot with a bungalow on top for a much less Thus, as a result, you can get a bigger lot with a bungalow attached to it than a same and equal size lot with a two-story home attached to it, a newly built two-story home. And once again, I have to preface all of this, you know, obviously if there's a two-story home from the same time period, this is a different story, right? So in other words, when you buy a bungalow, you're I would say 80% of the time paying money for the land, not the structure. 
So given the fact that bungalows are built upon bigger lots, the structure is older, and this is one of the other factors. Typically, people who reside in bungalows are older individuals. So people who potentially bought in the 70s, 80s, right, who have been there for 30 to 40 years. So you may be asking, well, what do these factors have to do with the fact that it's a great investment, Sam? You say this is the best investment in real estate. Well, let me tell you why. Because builders, right? And, uh, you know, there are investors who invest and try to sell to end users. But bungalows, you're really investing to sell to builders. And builders love bungalows. They love nothing more than bungalows, right? Because if they were to buy a lot that large, they can do one of two things with it. Either they can knock down the bungalow and build a two-story sized home uh, bigger than the bungalow was on a huge lot with a you know big frontage and a backyard that's large as well. Or they can take that bungalow divide the lot in half and build two two-story homes. And this happens often. This really does. Builders buy big lots and they divide it and they build two properties where there was in the past one. That way they get a good return. In summation, really, bungalows are great for investments because you can buy a big lot with an older structure that you don't have to pay towards the structure, you're really paying towards the land, sit on it for a couple of years and eventually either tear it down and build it yourself, which is a trickier investment, but you can also have the option of selling it to a builder because land is scarce, right? Builders love big lots because as I've aforementioned, they can do one of those two main things with it. And believe it or not, older people are much easier to work with. Uh, and I, I speak, to, speak this as a buyer, as an agent and sales agent. Now I'm not saying younger people in the 30s, you know, even 40s, you know, 30s, 20s, whatever, they're not easy to work with. Obviously there's a mixture of all, but older people who usually sit on bungalows, they're looking to downsize, you know, they're either in retirement or looking to retire soon. They want to be closer to the family. Uh, typically, they sell the bungalows, look for a downsized condo or a newer property, whatever it is. They're incentivized. You're incentivized. And all these factors that I have mentioned make it investor friendly. Now, let's get to the negative. The negative is it takes quite a bit of money to start. This is not your condo, right? The price for bungalows are quite high. So for instance, in the central locations of Toronto where I have a lot of expertise, uh, bungalows start at 1.2, 1.3. You're looking at a 1.2 million investment just to start with. And that's just being very, very friendly with the prices. This is what I mean when I say this investment is not for everyone, right? You do have to have quite a bit of capital to start with. Most likely you're not a first time investor, you're an experienced investor. Even if you are a first time investor, you probably worked really hard for that capital. So for these reasons, I tell you, you know, it's a case by case basis. You know, if money was not an object, I would tell definitely tell you to uh, go towards bungalows. But obviously, we live in the real world, and practically speaking, money is an object for almost everyone. Anyways, that's Sam from Siberia Six Real Estate and Remax Real Estate Real Estate Inc. Uh, please feel free to get in touch. My contact information in the description box. Uh, give a thumbs up, like this video, uh, and subscribe. The much appreciated if you do that. If you don't. Also appreciate it as well. I like honest feedback, so thank you.